Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It has been quite a while since I've done a haul so I'm sitting down today to share some awesome Romwe finds with you. This is one of my best batches of stuff from them and I'm super excited. I've got everything from sweaters to bodysuits, accessories, shoes, swimsuits, you know the drill. So without further ado, let's hop right on in. Okay, I'm going to start off with the clear bag just because it's right on top. I have a clear bag from Romwe that I just adore. I literally wore the heck out of it when I was home for winter break and I decided to leave it home and I literally regret leaving it at home so badly. I miss it so much so I had to grab another one. This one I really like because it's got that big circle handle that is so popular right now. I think they're really really fun and then you've obviously just got the clear bag. This is awesome if you need a bag for a stadium, for college, Anything like that, clear bags are so fun. I know that some people don't like that you can see inside and you can see your belongings, but I think it's a really cool way to accessorize. So, grab this and it's under $10. I have two pairs of shoes and the first pair is this knockoff pair of Doc Martens. I really, really like these. All of my roommates have Doc Martens and Doc Martens are literally like the signature shoe of Kent, Ohio and Kent State's fashion school in general and I don't have a pair only because I can't justify spending that much money on a pair of shoes I know I really won't wear a ton. I have so many different pairs of shoes that I don't really stick to just one specific pair so I thought grabbing like a knockoff pair would be a wise choice that way I have them when I want to wear the shoe but I didn't spend $150, $200 on a pair of shoes so these are really great you do have to size up two sizes I'm a size 8 wearing the size 40 from them and they fit awesome they even have like the little tag at the back they've got a little bit of white stitching you obviously can tell they are fake but from afar, I think they look like really, really good black combat boots. These are awesome if you're dealing with slush or snowy weather still like we are here. Although we are dealing with the slush, I am dreaming of spring and I had to grab these little white mules. I've been needing a couple of pairs of transition shoes. Not that I'm necessarily wearing them yet. I am still stuck in boots most days, but like yesterday we had a high of 46 and I was like, you know what, I'm going to wear these. I really, really like them so far. I will say I would recommend sizing up they are very very furry on the inside they're super comfortable very warm and soft however because there's so much fur it does push your foot forward a little bit so I would definitely size up I got I'm an 8 and I got a size 39 I definitely could have gone up to the 40 just to give my foot a little more comfortable fit on the sole of these shoes they are super cute super chic I love the gold accents on them and think that these are really easy to mix and match and will be a staple piece in my wardrobe throughout the spring months Okay, I've got quite the stash of sweaters because when I came back to school for spring semester, I basically had brought home all of my colored sweaters. I left white and black sweaters here just because I was like, you know what, I'm going to bring home everything I know. I'll get new stuff, and I'm so glad I did. However, I literally only had white and black sweaters, so I needed to branch out and pick up some sweaters that I could just wear to class on the days I don't have class, just lounging around, going out, you know, the whole drill. So... The first sweater I got looks like this, and it's that material that starts with a she that I can never remember that everyone, chenille, that everyone always comments and is like, Mackenzie, this is the name of it. Yeah, this is that material. I love these sleeves. They get progressively wider as they go down. However, they're not like a bell sleeve. They've got a little bit of black, and then this color in the middle that's like kind of an orange, kind of a tan, a nice royal blue, and then some navy going on. I love this. It's a super cute fit to it, and just a great sweater for every day with blue denim and like white sneakers. You're good to go for class. This sweater I love the color of, however I wish I had sized down. I grabbed a medium in this and I definitely could have gotten the small. However, the medium is like the perfect oversized fit if you wanted to make your sweater dress or make your sweater look like a sweater dress. I think with tights and black Doc Martens, this would be a really edgy, cute look for class with a little bomber thrown on over top. That would be a look. I really like this. It's a nice soft material. I love some cheetah, but I do wish I had gone a size down. My next sweater I do have in quite a few colors already. I really like the fit of this sweater. It's very soft and it's got raw ripped hems on all the, all the ends basically. The sleeves, the bottom, and the neckline. I really like this. I don't know, I just think it's really cute with a pair of black denim jeans and then some sneakers a really easy sweater to wear and I really throughout this haul tried to branch out and grab some more color my wardrobe has been lacking color big time and with spring on the horizon I figured you know now is the time to really 
stop buying white and black so you know this little mauve color is a good option this next sweater my roommate Olivia was like please 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 get this Mackenzie and I was on the fence about it and actually once I tried it on I really loved it I love the mock neck cropped fit I have a gazillion sweaters in this specific style I think it's really flattering with high-waisted jeans and it just looks good on my body type at least I think and I do love a mock neck it's not as overwhelming as a turtleneck however it does give you just the amount of like coverage that you need almost. I don't know. I just love them and this sweater has got like rainbow knitting in it and it's so cute. I don't know. Just a fun like transition piece when you're still stuck in sweaters but you are wanting to branch out and you're like dreaming of spring. The cute little rainbow ness to this. I don't know. It just was calling my name. I forgot to mention that in all of these sweaters I did go ahead and grab a size medium. The next one I got is this little gray one. It does have kind of like that choker collar with a little bit of a cutout. We haven't seen this style in a couple of years. I feel like they're just now starting to bring it back but I really liked the different neckline to this. So I was like, I'm going to give this one a go and I really liked the way that it fit. It's not the softest of the sweaters that I received throughout this haul. Definitely one that's like on the more acrylic-y feeling side. However, it's still super cute and I do like the length of this. It does have this little detail along the bottom. I do believe that you're supposed to put this string through the different holes. However, for the sake of the try-on, I was like in a rush trying to trying to film before I went to class so I didn't have time to do it but it does cinch up really cute in the picture on the website if you take the time to do it the correct way. This next sweater is white but you know what I made an exception for this one because it's got the cutest little tan stars on it and I'm on such a star kick have been for a few months now so I really wanted to pick this up. This is so soft so comfortable it's very oversized this is a one size fits all and I would say it fits between a medium and a large like if there was an in between size that would be with this is it's very oversized however I think this with like leggings and sneakers is really easy for going to class or if you're just hanging out at your dorm room that is like the perfect sweater for this since it does cover your butt if you're on the shorter side like me. I did grab one black sweater and it's because I have a reason for it I have one cropped sweater here that is black and it like shrunk in the dryer and I was like I really do need a new one because a black cropped sweater is a staple in my wardrobe at least I think they're really easy to pair with joggers jeans leather pants, cargo pants, you name it. You really can't go wrong with one and I do wear my like cropped sweaters into the spring, wear them in the fall and the winter so they really do get a lot of use in my wardrobe so I really like this one. It's a really thick cable knit. This is definitely one of the better sweaters that I've gotten from Romwe. I would recommend this one 10 out of 10. Great sleeve length, great length, not too cropped that when you lift your arms up even the slightest bit your bra will show so definitely recommend grabbing this one. My last sweater is purple and this is actually the only piece of clothing I have that's purple besides workout wear. I do not wear purple. My mom hates the color so I very 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 rarely reach for it. However, I grabbed this sweater from Shein a couple of weeks ago and I love it. So I, when I saw this I was like oh it kind of reminds me of the striped sweater and I really like this. It is more of like that cable knit material. This one has got like some holes along the top so it's definitely a wider cable knit. I found that if with a nude bra you could still get away with it. You don't need to wear anything underneath. However, if you did want to layer a long sleeve like a black long sleeve shirt underneath it would be cute because you would see um, the black like peeking out from the holes super cute just liked the lilac for some reason I was drawn to it and thought that it would be a fun pop of color for these spring months this next piece of clothing says it's a jacket but it's really not it's basically it's so thin that it's a shirt it literally feels like a button-up shirt which I'm not complaining about I just wish they wouldn't market it as a jacket then um, I would wear this unbuttoned with a black long sleeve bodysuit underneath. I think that would be super cute. Or the way I think I'm going to wear this is with a black lacy bralette underneath and then leaving some of the top buttons unbuttoned and then tying this up. I think that would be so cute. I love cow print. I've been on such a cow print kick lately and with black jeans and my cowgirl boots, I think this will be perfect for a country night here at school. I went ahead and grabbed one two-piece set and this literally reminded me of a juicy tracksuit, like so 2000s vibes. I had to grab it. It is a bright bubblegum pink, super cute color. The sweats are really comfy. They're not 
not like sweatpant material necessarily like they're not super heavy they don't have fleece or anything they're 69% cotton 26% polyester 5% spandex a really breathable material they do feel more cotton than anything else and they do just get a little wide at the bottom they're not like an overly flattering fit by any means but like they're just sweatpants and then the sweatshirt I love this is like a cropped little hoodie and it's almost got like cups to it you'll see in the try on that it just fits your chest perfectly you can leave it unzipped with just you can wear a regular bra with it leave it unzipped and you'll have like just a little bit of cleavage it'll make your girls look really good and I don't know I just really really liked this hoodie I think even this without the pants just paired with pair of jeans or joggers would be cute too next up we've got a plethora of shirts that aside from this one are all colored I'm really proud of myself I was really been needing some shirts I'm like I needed sweaters but I was also like Oh my god, all I have are solid black and white tops. Like, Mackenzie, stop. So, this shirt is so fun. I really wasn't expecting it to be this material, but I don't mind that it's polyester. It's got, like, white and black faces on it. I just finished up a fashion tech project where I used faces like these as motifs. This was in a bunch of WGSN spring forecasting, so I was excited to pick this up. It's got those bigger ruched sleeves to them that we've been seeing a lot of lately, and then it does have, like, a seam where it tapers into like a regular looking sleeve. Definitely not everyone's style, but I thought it would be a fun piece to try out with black jeans and white booties. Next up, we've got a wrap top. I've been getting so many wrap tops lately just because I think they're really flattering. They're really easy to wear. You can wear them going out. You can wear them to class. A lot you can do with them. This is a really nice material. It's got, God, I don't know what that what the feel to this is. It says it's 100% polyester, but it's got almost this silky, satiny sheen to it that I really do like. It's like a beautiful terracotta color that wraps around the waistline, just makes you look skinny, makes your boobs look good, and I don't know, I just love tops like this. Again, perfect for like a spring break trip or dinner out. This long sleeve bodysuit, now it looks really, really scary when you hold it up. It is so high up on your hips. However, with high-waisted jeans, you honestly couldn't even see the like side of it peeking out. However, I do know that it's becoming kind of trendy to wear like a really high cut bodysuit with like mid-rise jeans. I'm not really sure how I feel about that look. Um, but this is like the perfect length and size to just wear with joggers. It is a really nice v-neck cut to it. Not super low, but not like super high either where it's like, what's the point of wearing a v-neck? Love this. It's super, super, super soft. Like if they have this in five other colors, I will be getting all five of them. It's also the perfect length. I have this bodysuit in black and I love it. It's probably my favorite bodysuit I have from Romwe or one of my favorite bodysuits ever. It's super soft. Again, that 95% cotton, 5% spandex that is so comfortable and just really breathable. So I grabbed it in the red. It's honestly the only other color they have the bodysuit in. If they had it in 10 more colors, I would get all 10. That's how much I love this. Just a long sleeve, really easy to tuck into jeans and stuff, which is why I love reaching for this kind of bodysuit. I like long sleeves, but there's something really seamless about a bodysuit that just tucking it into stuff makes your look just so polished and put together. Again, the perfect length, and they do have snaps along the bottom of all the bodysuits I'm sharing with you today, which is awesome because it makes going to the bathroom so much easier. This next bodysuit is just a really pale blue lettuce hem along the top and then the bottom. Super pretty. It's a ribbed material. Again, really soft. That same blend of cotton and spandex. I think that's why I really liked all these. I don't mind polyester, but I definitely do prefer the cotton and spandex blends. I think they're really comfortable, really easy to wear. Again, as we transition into spring, this with a fur vest, this with like a lighter coat, a puffer, um, and just jeans and flats, mules, even the white mules I shared earlier, and then some fun accessories is a really, really easy way to start taking that step and progression towards spring fashion. This next bodysuit I went ahead and grabbed in two different colors because I happen to like two different colors. Most times I don't even reach for color just because I'm like, mm, the color doesn't really strike my fancy, but I really liked the pink and I liked the blue in this bodysuit, so I was like, you know what, I'm going to pick both of them up and I'm so glad I did because this bodysuit was the perfect length on me it did have snaps and it's such a flattering fit these there's four little buttons but you can choose to unbutton some of them so I left the top two unbuttoned made your boobs look good a soft ribbed material the longs the sleeves were the perfect length since it is long sleeves I do struggle with that sometimes but I love this again another bodysuit that serves a lot of different purposes you could wear this with a 
pair of joggers or a pair of jeans, dress it up or dress it down. The light blue is such a gorgeous color. This is really, really flattering on my skin tone with my hair and my eyes being blue. I really, really like this. I want to try and find more things in this color because it was definitely a hit for me. Next up, I have some swimsuits. I know some of you are headed on spring break trips soon or some of you may just be like me and need to put on a bathing suit and dance around for a couple minutes to, you know, pretend it's summer and warm outside. So this first one I grabbed looks like this. It's it's a like leopard-ish, animal print-ish to it. I'm not really sure what you would call this. This fits great. It is a little bit long in the crotch as some of their like seamless suits are. However, I find that if you wear it high up on the hips, it is totally fine. The straps on the side are really, really thin, which I do like about it. It's definitely on the cheekier side. And the top looks like this. The top I'm not 100% sold on. I feel like the cups are a little small. Um, I typically wear a size 34B, so I do tend to grab an extra small or small in their suits when they offer it. However, I don't know, like I like this one. I just feel like if it was a bit wider, it would be a little more flattering. You can control how much you cinch this, so I'm thinking maybe if I didn't cinch it as much, I would like it a little bit better. It does have a string in the back, so you tie it to fit your body, but super cute and I really do like the print. This next suit is definitely my favorite of the bunch. I'm not usually a string bottoms kind of girl. However, if I do get string bottoms, my trick to keep them from floating away when a big wave comes is to tie it in a knot and then tie a bow. That way when the bow comes undone, you've still got a plan B. And then you know what? If that plan doesn't work out, then sis, good luck, Charlie. But these are super cute. I love the little crochet detail at the top. These ones are a little more full coverage than the others. Still definitely cheeky, but you can wear these a little bit higher on the hips, which I've noticed as I get older is a lot more flat on me than just like low-waisted bathing suit bottoms. I don't know guys. Um, and the top, god I can't figure out how to hold it up right in this moment, but it's super super cute. It's more of a triangle style and honestly the next bathing suit I got was a triangle style and I'm not usually someone to reach for like triangle style cups when they can like move across the bottom string if you know what I mean. But I really liked this and I needed it. I don't feel like this is going to move around a whole lot when you have it on which is always nice because you feel a little more secure. Um, but you know, still a tinier bikini, but still super, super cute. Okay, so my next suit is probably going to scare some of you guys. This thing is tiny. It does look a lot better on than it does when you hold it up, I'll give it that. But honestly, I could never wear this out and totally feel comfortable in it. Maybe tanning in my backyard, but aside from that, I actually really do like the top. It's again that triangle style that you can cinch them. I know a lot of people are like into cinching their triangle tops and like giving a lot of side boob. Personally, I don't find side boob cute cute on me but if you do you know this is a great suit for that I like that this one doesn't have any ties or clasps or anything you literally just slip it on so there's no chance that's gonna fall off which is really nice but I like the cheetah the bottoms are very very confusing they're super tiny this is a thong style suit which I guess I just did not realize when I was picking this out because I could never wear this in public um, either a comfortably or B without my mom killing me so anywho the bottoms are super tiny when I hold them up they have like a long string that wraps around on your stomach kind of hard for me to show when I'm just holding it up but I will show it on screen for you guys to get the gist I'm realizing there's one more tank top that I missed this was probably my least favorite thing of the haul as far as clothing goes and I still really liked it so that's saying a lot I would give like this haul 10 out of 10 one of my more successful things really like this like simple fit to this I don't know it's got like two straps and then they like asymmetrically go in the back really cute you know just an easy summer top with shorts denim shorts you know what else is there to say I really like this and it's super cheap okay, I got this hat and uh, I haven't seen myself in it but Olivia said it was not cute when I tried it on when I was unboxing it the other day I don't know I think it looks cuter than she said it was but again not my favorite hat just because I'm not sure I rock this as well as I thought I would but it is super soft and it's light pink with two little puff balls so if you're into the little puff ball thing this is the hat for you. I grabbed one belt and it is a little western style belt. I have so many belts from Romwe. They do belts really, really well. I actually have this in the gold version and I wear it all the time. My roommates borrow it all the time and I picked it up because I just wanted a silver version of it for when I'm wearing silver jewelry or have silver hardware on my shoes. I like Romwe belts. I like Shein belts. However, they hardly ever have a hole that's like small enough for me. So basically I just stick a nail in it or a drill and just like punch a new hole. So that's up to you guys whether or not that bothers you or not but most of their belts are one size fits all 
I have two pairs of socks and these are super cute just to wear with like white chunky sneakers and give that like daddish edgy vibe versus a feminine girly feel. I like the little lace along the top and then just a regular sock. I got a pair in white and then I got a pair in black. This was a two pack I believe so you can grab these and accessorize for fun for only like five bucks. I did get an AirPod case which is super random but they were like please pick out some accessories and I all my roommates have AirPod cases and I find that I don't lose my AirPods by any means, but because they're white, they get like lost in my bag to the point where I'm like, oh, where are they? So I just figured putting on a neon pink little case on it would make it easier. I do like that this has like a little key ring to it because I can just hook it to my keys when I go to the gym. That will be super useful. I grabbed this pack of four hair clips and I really like them. I love wearing hair clips just to accessorize my outfit or when I'm going out. This one's like a little beaded one. This one is like an alligator clamp that has silver studs on it. I have this alligator clamp that's like a black um, rickrack little feel to it. And then this one is just a alligator clip that's like a normal hair clip. Like this is like the OG hair clip shape and it's just a black sparkly. I then grabbed a giant pack of scrunchies and my roommates were like, seriously Mackenzie, did you need more scrunchies? And the answer is obviously no, but I love scrunchies. I wear them all the time just as an accessory on my wrist or to the gym or, you know, like when I don't wash my hair and just I'm throwing it up in the shower. I don't even need to explain why or when you would use a scrunchie. Just know that I have a gazillion of them. And this pack of 10, I believe, super soft. They're not super thick. I do prefer for thicker scrunchies for my actual hair but for thinner scrunchies I think they're cute on the wrist so a nice array of colors I really like the yellow one for baseball season so next up I grabbed this little lips purse and it literally could probably fit like one lip gloss that's how small it is I thought this would be like actual purse size but in comparison to my body this is how small it is it does have like a little strap to it I think that you're supposed to wear it as more of like a clutch however it did come with a little gold chain to attach it so that you can wear it as a crossbody if you're into that so either way I'm excited to wear this I just thought it'd be a fun accessory for a couple of photos this and next purse I am being 100% serious when I say I you can bury me with this. I've been so into Calpran. I'm on such a country kick and I absolutely just about fainted when I saw this on their site. I was like, I need that right this second. It's kind of a clutch, kind of a crossbody. Like you can take the strap off. I have it on for right now. However, I think it would be really, really cute with a black dress, a Western belt, cow print, or I mean not cow print. Well, yeah, the cow print clutch in cowgirl boots. Like, hear me out. That would be awesome. Bringing this to a country concert, so fire. I don't know. Looks like this. It is a little bit roomier than the lips purse. Still, like, a clutch size, so you can fit, like, your phone, your keys, and maybe, like, a little card case in it. So, not a ton. I can't figure out how to shut this now that I opened it. But anyways, I really, really like this, and it's so worth the, like, maybe $10 that it costs. All right, everyone, that is going to be all for today's video. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed today's haul. I will leave links to everything in the description bar below as well as the link to my blog post so that you guys can check out these pieces and how I'm styling some of them. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, this is one of my better Romwe hauls, and I'm really impressed with all of these pieces. I can't wait to style them as we move into spring temperatures. Please, Ohio, please, please, please bring us some sunshine. But anywho, that's going to be all. Make Make sure to use my code I forget what it is off the top of my head so I'll leave it right here to get 10% off your entire purchase and I will talk to you guys in my next video bye guys